two, one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Shenanigans, where the party is not causing trouble. Mm. No, we're making a party. We're just party bought some no flowers. trouble involved in parties ever. Just planning. The party is party planning. Now we just have to get balloons and decorations material. Well, let's do it. Um, ah. Where do you go get balloons and other decorations and the sign, the birthday sign? Well, it appears. Um, what was it again about the sign? That has to be special, right? It needs to be magical. No, oh. I think we just need to find out what age she actually is going to be. Well, then let us get the other decorations first. Well, balloons. Ah, uh, you I'd don't say want to be. We go to a, a cloth merchant or whatever. Hmm. And get just long, thin strips of colorful fabrics to dangle all over the place. If you want magical, as a young farm boy, I am skilled in the ways of the phantasmal force. What? I was taught the ways of the phantasmal force by the mysterious old man who was in my village before everyone was killed and it was burned down. Now, some people said that the ways of the phantasmal force were just a hokey old religion and that they put their faith in blasting things with magic missiles and fireballs. Hmm. There's something about the waves of the phantasmal force. Wait, go back to that... like the, the people and the burning part? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, like pretty much any farm boy, my time in my village came to an end just before my 18th birthday when I was out gathering um, uh, some some herbs from the forest, and then I looked back to see a giant column of smoke coming from my village. I ran back, and there were, were some sort of dark-clad race on fire-breathing horses burning down the entire village and everyone I knew. I, I grabbed my mother's swords and I was about to charge at them, but then the old man, the mysterious old man who had taught me the ways of the phantasmal force leaped in front of me and said, no, you must not, they must not get this. He pressed this half of a medallion into my hand and said, this was your true father's. I'll explain later. Now you must flee. Wait, you were adopted? A... Well, yeah, like I said, I'm a pretty typical farm boy. I mean, these are, you know, so after coming back and seeing that everything I knew and everyone I loved was cooling ashes and colder corpses. Yeah, I had the same I problem, except for I was the one who started the fire, but we won't talk about that. All right. Yes, yes, it's not, it's, it's not bothersome to talk about the fire that destroyed everything I knew. It, it's okay. Look around. You're not. Uh, well, not. You don't have to do any of that farm stuff, whatever that is. Yes, I'm sure yes. it's a lot of work. Yes, yes, that definitely makes up. There's nothing traumatic about the typical origin story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sad backstory aside, you said you have a symbol that is of your true father's. Maybe yes. you're related to an elven noble. Yeah. Did you find out who your father is? I don't know. It's just this. Look, it's this weird half of medallion. Let me see. Let me see. There's some words on it. What's it say? But, well, it seems like maybe it's my real name. Maybe it's part what of the language. Is this? It's on the what other language half of this medallion. Meal? What language? The where? Line. On his on this emblem thing he's got. I have no. Yes. You gotta ask the him. Fruit. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Rob, what language is this in? Yeah. Well, it is written in Elvish, in the first line. Like I don't I said, read I Elvish. I can't tell if parts of these are missing or if these are the entire words. Well, it's you got some gone. elves here. I like poke this, poke uh, him. I'm like, this beautiful fellow probably might know the answer. Yes, Maybe. show me the necklace. All oh, right, the... see the, the first line on the necklace says Dawn. Like maybe that's- Maybe it's one name. of those friendship things where like someone has the other half and you have the other and you put them together and it's all oh, so cute. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. He's on a quest to find his soulmate. That's amazing. Huh. Yeah, maybe <laughs> it's not your father after all. Well, let us just hope you're not related to the house of Dawn and Twilight. Why? Really what's wrong with Dawn and Twilight? Those things sound awesome. 
Oh yes, they they are quite lovely. Just that my house. One wakes me up in the morning, and one makes me go to sleep. I'm cool with both. Actually, the sleeping part doesn't happen. It's more like that's when I know when I can start drinking. The night well, stuff. You see, the house nightshade, my house, had some interesting interactions with that one. Interesting. Anyway, how so? We have to get. We have to get these decorations. No, 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 sir. You just can't get away from not telling us what this says. I mean, it says dawn. Well, there's three. It looks like there's three lines. I think dawn might be a first name, not a house name. The other part that he just dawn, said he should have And the second line says Drin. Just a strange <laughs> name. And the last, the last line says Oval. I, I can't help but think that maybe the other half of the amulet has has something else on it, or or maybe this is all, and the other half just has a picture. What is the second and third line again? Uh, the second line says Drin. Drin, and the last D-R-I-N. line says Oval. Oval. Yes. D O N D R I N O V A L. Yes. Dondrin Oval. What it could mean, I have no idea. It seems Greg knows, but... <laughs> Greg has an idea. I don't know who Greg is. Well, where's Greg? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but I just feel uh, he would know something about this. I have no idea. I do not take interest in sob stories of some orphans. Normally. All those Rob stories. We have to find Greg then. Oh, we gotta find so. out who your pops is. <laughs> Or if it's not your pops, then we gotta figure out who your soulmate is. Maybe he's your soulmate, yeah. How oh. about... That seems like a lovely quest for another time, when we are not preparing for a birthday. Well, maybe we can do both, okay, Mr. Pretty Elf Man? Maybe, while we're looking for the other things, we can ask around and see if people know. Well, do as you want. First of all, we have to get these decorations. We have, we've been standing here in the town square for, what, 10 minutes and just talking about this? 10 minutes is nothing. Well, so, you, you would think so, but apparently in this town, time flies if you don't pay notice to it. It mm. does. <clears throat> Without anyway. realizing it, it's almost the end of the day. <laughs> Neil. See? I thought that was just all the drinking I was doing. Neil, Doreen is going to ask around for where to get the best moonshine. Well, you can't just ask around about how to get the best moonshine. It's moonshine. You need to know someone. You know, that sort of thing is not freely spoken about in the streets. Otherwise, the the new town sheriff might come and uh, put an end to this. <laughs> he smells all the moonshine in town. Who's the new town sheriff? That, no, is he Carbothan? Uh, what, McTacky, what was the new Travis's name again? It's McTacky, he's the new sheriff in town. No, 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 <laughs> was it no, McBoof? Did McBoof, McBoof win? Yeah, yeah, I think that. All right, McBoof Like the idea won. of McTacky being the sheriff. McTacky, you would be a great sheriff. <laughs> See, not saying that because you just bribed me with a subscription, because that's not it's, how politics work. Totally that's not. definitely <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> See, Chad, that's how you do it. You should have suge suggested McTacky, not some weird beholder with only two eye stalks, which mm -hmm. was obviously going to be denied by Nia. All right, all right, all right. So, uh... Let's continue. There are many goals left. <laughs> oh, no. We Hold still on, haven't gotten decorations other than the flowers. Mm. Mm. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Is Desmond going to find a cleric to cast no age? On <laughs> Look, <laughs> Desmond see. is facing his own problems that you're more or less unaware of. Um, <laughs> just let him deal with them in his own way. <laughs> Go get it, Desmond. All right, so I'll help you with your wife. Dwayne is just... going to be going around trying to find some back alley like thief to ask about moonshine. All right, you can find in some distant back alley somewhere in shenanigans a a group of halflings and gnomes sitting around, standing around, really um, throwing dice in an alleyway and talking amongst themselves. <clears throat> You guys, uh, you guys know anything about some good booze? They look up from their dice game at you. 
Uh, one of the larger halflings kind of struts over to you, <clears throat> shoulders back, chest puffed out. Hold on. And he says, uh, yeah, I know something about booze. I'm looking to uh, get some real good stuff. You know, there was a person who used to sell that sort of stuff around here. Uh, they were selling it over by the school, but then a whole bunch of people came by and had him arrested and thrown him out of town. So I don't know if I can trust with selling booze to you, stranger. I'm looking to have a real good party. Real strong. Uh, something by the moonlight. And how do I know you're not going to turn me into this new sheriff? Hmm? Huh? I am covered with hands. Do you think? Honestly, I'm working with the sheriff. You're covered for hands and asking for booze in an alleyway. I have no idea what to expect from you. Fair point. How about, uh, how about three gold for this information? Just where to buy it. The halfling considers, looks you up and down, and says, all right, I know place, good stuff. Uh, you're gonna wanna head towards the, the south side of town. Uh, you'll pass a house with a, a red tile roof. You go in there, you give a, a knock on the back cellar door, three knocks, mm -hmm. and you say you're, you're looking to dance by the moonlight and uh, they'll set you up with what you need. All right, I hand him the three gold and head All right. off. All right, off you head. Um, you head towards the south side of town. Sure enough, you see a house with red tile roof. Mm -hmm. It has a small white picket fence around the front, but the back and the sides have like a head height, uh, brown pine fence, mm -hmm. you know, regular fence. Uh, and the house looks a little run down. The roof is a little grown over. Uh, it looks like maybe a little abandoned, sort of, you know. Right. Yeah. It's got to look a little abandoned. Yeah. It's a, what do you call it, like urban blight or something? That's the term for it. It's a, a blighted house in an urban environment. They used that urban light. <laughs> no, blight. <laughs> well, I go over to the back, look for the uh, cellar entrance. You do find a cellar entrance in the back. It's a little overgrown with weeds. All right, give it a nice three knocks. Say, I'm looking to dance by the moonlight. Uh, yeah. A head pokes out. It's another halfling. Dirty face all over, kind of like black sootiness. You can smell uh, ash and coal coming from it. He looks up and goes, you you want some? Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Looking to buy some moonshine. Yep. Looks you over. Okay, you stay right there. Uh, how much you want? You say all it in a barrel? We can put it in a barrel. One barrel, then, yeah? Mm -hmm. How much will that be? It's gonna be expensive. It's good stuff. Not allowed by law. You willing to pay the uh, the cost? It's gonna be thirty gold pieces. Oof. About a half a barrel then. That'll be eighteen gold pieces. I get you. Barrel expenses. That's fine. All right. Uh, he tells you to wait here, mm -hmm. and he'll go back because they don't keep the moonshine here. It's kept somewhere else. They're trying to do a decentralized distribution system because of all the problems they've had with people turning in illegal alcohol sellers in the past. I'm looking at you guys right now. I did no such thing for a bounty at all. Never got hey. paid. You never saw it. It was one known family we killed that brewed moonshine. <laughs> oh, there's also the guy that was selling alcohol to the teenagers down at the the, sort, the magic school. Wasn't it that the guy oh, that was me? We totally made a deal with him <laughs> and killed his competition. <laughs> Yes, and then I think drove him out of town or something. Look, there have been a lot of problems with illegal alcohol sales in Berkshire, resulting in the death of many salesmen. They've gotten very careful uh, in the 
same time. So, um, you wait. It's like half an hour that you're waiting here in this backyard until uh, you see coming, you know, a, a picket fence with a, a barrel over the shoulder is uh, Desmond. He walks <laughs> over towards the back door and sets it down and goes, hey, what are you doing here, Doreen? <laughs> oh, Desmond, why? So I'm oh, just dropping off something here for a friend. What are you doing here? Yes, I know what it is, Desmond. It's a half barrel, right? Shh. Okay, well, I bought this for Lizzie's birthday, but okay. Lizzie's birthday? Oh, God. We're going to mix it <laughs> with some, uh, some fruit and stuff. All right, well, you're the experts. Fuck. All right. Okay. Was this just out of shenanigans? Nope, nope. That's a ways away from shenanigans, but uh, okay. you, you pay the money, you get the barrel, and you can find somewhere to store it for a couple of days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh... Yeah, you find a spot to store it. It's fine. Okay. And we're going to move on to the next segment. Uh, we've got flowers and moonshine. Uh, I think it's time to talk about the cake. Johnny I'm Vegas? Sorry, I'm melt down there with reading chat. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> uh, the side effects of urban blight sound very disturbing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the cake. Well, first things first. I know as a proficient cook, that in order to make the world's biggest cake, we need the world's largest batch of ingredients. So um, I rope in my man Borscht. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm like, hey, Borscht, how you doing, man? So here's the down low. We're going to make the biggest cake in the world, and I'm going to need your help, all right? Do you need me now? to go kill a rock and get its egg for you, right? Well... That's a good start. I was thinking we were going to gather up like 10,000 chicken eggs. But hey, this rock egg sounds great. I've got just the team for it. Hold on. And he steps out into the, the main bar and um, goes and talks to a, a group of adventurers. You see some words back and forth and eventually a handshake. And he comes back to the kitchen and goes, I've just hired a group of people to go get the <clears throat> an egg from the rock up on the mountain. It's the biggest egg in the whole world and it'll make the biggest cake in the whole world. Excellent, yes. That's exactly what I want to hear. Do you think we need to go with them? Do they need a little Johnny expertise? I think there's a 50... Not 9 point... A lot. I, I think there's an 80% chance they're going to die. But if they oh, don't die, it's going to work out great. All right, well, while they do that, all right, we should make a backup plan, all right? So, okay. where are all the chickens kept in town? I want to make a joke about cowardly people, but I can't think of it. Um, so the <laughs> chickens are just on the farms. You can get an egg from Henrietta. Anyway, yo, she's really pork. Chicken in the region. She's, she's been eaten. Why don't we, why don't we? Make a bunch of soup right now, so that the bar is served. Soup until... cake. I get it. Yes. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Stick oh. with me, man. The wheels okay. are turning. I got a plan. Okay. Okay. So I'm just soup now. So that... Luna Acres has the greatest chicken. <laughs> Didn't Baby you? Acres. Eat... I hear a voice in my head, man. <laughs> Dash, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's using the ways of the phantasmal force on me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so, sorry, eggs, lots and lots of eggs, okay. Right, so, so, you and me, Borsch, we're gonna go to the chicken farm, we're gonna gather all the eggs, and then we're gonna buy flour, because flour's cheaper than eggs. Mm hmm And we're gonna start baking layers, all right? But now we need a mold, right? So we gotta go to Cogbench's place, steal a mold, and then we're gonna pop out of this cake. Okay. All right, so we're gonna need two cakes. So we need double the eggs and flour. Wait, so All we right? have a cake that we, the eating cake and the jumping out of cake. I mean, I was thinking like we were gonna stack it, like one would have a little thing to jump out of and then we'd cover it up with the other cake so we could bust out. All right, so the first cake is like a cylinder hollow oh, yeah, on man. the inside. 
And then the second <laughs> cake is just like a layer over the top. Exactly, exactly. And we're all gonna jump out of it. Yeah, man, and we're playing band. We might have Naked Desmond. I've heard talk. I've seen Naked Desmond before. Yeah, we did that before. <laughs> many times. Right. Are we are brothers in many ways and have experienced many things in life. I do not shy away from his gloriness. <laughs> you my hey, hey, dude. Hey, All right, Horst. Let's go steal some chicken eggs. Okay, wh one, one question before we go. All right. The structure, the, the, the structure of the second layer that, that, that suspends over the hollowed out cylinder. How do we keep it from collapsing? We use lots of icing. Okay. Sold. Yeah. Yeah, man. Buttercream frosting. Johnny has never yeah. made a cake before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's going to be the best thing ever. It's going to be like... <laughs> so the two of you head off to Luna, Luna Acres to go steal a security dairy farm. The thousand chicken eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um... All right, I'm going to need a minute to think of an adventure for that. Okay, um, well, we're gonna come back to this in a bit. We're gonna come back to Johnny Vegas and the cake. I talked to Neil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's roll back around to uh, booze and cocktails. Um, Hell yeah. Ruby yeah. and Victor. Right. Uh, and Coffee are joining Victor, them. Victor and, and Ruby for show. Right. I think yeah. Doreen just joins, like, I got the alcohol part. We just need the thing to mix with it. Okay. Now, we need something fancy for the cocktail, something that, you know, just says birthday. So I'm thinking Like of... a fancy glass. We mm -hmm. could get somebody to carve us fancy glasses. And of course, with, our, with those fancy glasses, has to go a fancy drink. Or, something. you know oh. that fellow that does the blowing of the of the glass stuff. I know he normal makes like paraphernalia things, but I bet he could make some glasses, like some really fancy ones. Probably. Hmm, yes. The problem is that people drink, they might drop them. So maybe we might want to go back to the wood. Maybe just the mm -hmm. birthday glass one is. So you get like a giant one, like, you know, it has to be like this big so she can hold it and everyone knows that's the birthday girl. And I have just the perfect drink for that. All right. What was that? Well, I call it the Berkshire Mule. Let me no. just go. Uh, he kind of goes behind the counter and rummages through, and he puts onto the counter. I hope I remember this right. Um, <laughs> vodka. <laughs> right, vodka. Um, lime so like schnapps. Potato stuff? Lime schnapps. What is that? Um, Ginger, uh, I think it was ginger beer and, an, and like an orange. And he's going to mix that. Um, like, huh, I need some. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, Desmond has this portable. You're missing the barrel of ice. citrus. <laughs> you know what would make it very birthday if, if we get like, you know, if we could go like a, to a candy maker and we could have like. Uh, make like something like a like a like sprinkles and like whipped cream on that uh mm -hmm. have it like be uh either we could have it um uh, like we could sprinkle the drink like with whipped cream like uh, over ah, it like, yes or, make or it... we could or we could uh, have honey rimmed around the glass and just have a sprinkles like i like the honey with the with the sprinkles honey mm -hmm. and the sprinkles will stick to the honey that's fabulous i love it all right um well we need the sprinkles, we need the honey. What's your favorite color? Does anyone know? Uh, uh we Neil, just have what is, like each of every color? Uh, Neil, what is Lizzie wearing in terms of colors? You normally? haven't seen her all day. You have no <laughs> idea where she is. But when we see Wouldn't her... Wouldn't she prefer to like wear like, you know, you norm she's a ranger? Like you normally get brown her. and green ones. It's, yeah, it's she's in her like brown leathers and green hunting gear <laughs> normally. Yeah. Maybe vibrant greens and hmm, what would go well with that? Um, go Well, the honey is golden already. Maybe... Uh, Vibrant greens and silvers. Hmm. Are they like silver? Sure, why not? 
How about, well, we could add some vibrant red too, some crimson. Mm. For her fiery like personality or? Like red and green, I like it, let's do it. <laughs> so we yeah. Back away from it's, the booth. It's Christmas, like is it like red and green? To the candy maker. <laughs> to the candy maker. Oh yeah, we need time. <laughs> You're going to steal some candy, Neil. <laughs> uh, do we have the? Um... There's some children nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, mm. we could get them puppies. <laughs> they would like, like. Oh my gosh! No, that's a freaking great idea, Victor. We could get some puppies and put them in the corner of the bar, and people can go pet puppies as part of the party. Like, it can be a puppy party. I feel we're just layer layering ideas upon ideas now. We should actually get some done before we <laughs> add something new. Is, uh, oh, is, Bessie, is Bessie still here? Like, is, uh, is, is Bessie gone? <laughs> yeah, Bessie's <laughs> around. Yeah, totally. She's down uh, on a farm nearby. All right, we, can, we could get, like, cream, right, from Bessie. Like, you know. Right? Mm. Have that as like a. I've never heard of this Bessie before, but must be interesting. A very uh, popular cow, apparently. Oh, well, it's a cow. So you just like talk to it and you're like, hey, give me some cream? How yeah. about. Sure. <laughs> how about you two get the. Oh, no, I haven't ever seen. Yes, let us go to Bessie and get some milk for the cream. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe that... we should get that last. The last because that would probably spoil pretty quickly. So probably get the cream last. Of all, right? Mm, good, well, you put good. it in like a one of them cooling devices. Hmm. Those frost boxes. Yes. Yeah. Desmond has some under the counter. Hmm. Yeah. So we need like we need vodka. Well, uh, the alcohol is already there. It's uh, shenanigans after all. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll have Desmond take care of that. Sure. The, Ingredients. So, did we come up with any themed drinks at all? So we have. I think we have the we birthday have, drink. We have the birthday like yeah. drink. I think uh, the birthday drink is, if I understood everything correctly, is the Berkshire Mule with honey around the rim of the glass with uh, candy sprinkles in disgusting. the honey and whipped cr uh, cream from Bessie <laughs> <Disgusting>. on the <laughs> drink. <laughs> That's like the most disgusting combination. Why would you put ginger beer with a whipped cream on top of it? <laughs> Don't disgusting. question it. <laughs> no, I'm into it for the game, but yeah. out of character, I'm like, what? Who's drinking it? I would know. say like vodka would probably be enough and like maybe something else, like another liquor. But We're yeah. calling it the birthday Berkshire. Yeah. <laughs> the <feel. laughs> birthday Berkshire special surprise. Bastion, would yeah, you, there we go. Would you please <laughs> write out drink. the description of this drink somewhere and, and like post it in Twitch chat or post it in the Discord? Oh, yeah, I post wanna... it for Twitch chat I, and I, I want will... people to make this for us. I want to see some pictures. You better tweet them at me, because and I all want to right, see your reaction. Right. I'm gonna try and you drink it. I'm gonna try and make one of these things one day. <laughs> all right, I will write it out in Twitch. All right, right. give well, me the full stream, Neil. Like we need to see it. Well, you know, if I could get my shit together, we'll do it for shenanigans one day. Oh, oh my gosh, you have to invite me go. back because I need right. to watch that. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you gotta write it all out. Have to get Saturday. I'm not busy. <laughs> It might take me a while to uh, get all the ingredients necessary. It sounds fairly complicated. It's just a Moscow meal, or like a bur it's just a meal. I'm missing candy sprinkles and whipped cream and ginger beer easy. and you vodka. You can go to the store and get that. I, I mean, of course, I can get these things, but I, I don't have any of the ingredients. You have all, except so for the you're honey. saying you have the complicated part, which is the alcohol. No, but I just you can't have the be honey. bothered to get whipped cream uh, and sprinkles all, and honey. All, all, all I have <laughs> is honey. I have nothing but the honey. So <laughs> also, okay, not, not vodka, but vodka with a W <laughs> on the bottom. It needs special vodka. Water. Yes, I'm currently writing it up in Twitch chat, so... Okay, good. Yes. Uh, make sure to also post it in the Shenanigans members uh, Discord section. Or, or the Shenanigans general. Maybe we what should all this? bring them together. Like, we just need to all come back and, like... Oh, oh. together and we, like... Oh, God. And we'll all have our glass of... That's... It's gonna be so gross. Our, it's our gonna be terrible. Like, I love mules. They're delicious. But with whipped cream and honey? No, that's weird. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be great. Okay. It's just maybe we should have one person pilot the program, and if it works out, other people can join in. No, Neil, you have to 
all it's group okay. group therapy okay all right any mixologists in chat take this as a starting point and then make us something that's actually good <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then tweet it to us so we can try it yeah. they'll probably make some like whipped cream infused with some kind of weird thing i know there's people out there that make crap like that yeah uh -oh. Hey, what's the up, Sprinkles Millman? aren't made out of sugar. They're made out of something else. Yeah. Long time to fucking see. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see where we are. We... That's, that's the cocktails. The rest of the boost, perhaps, we should right. uh, talk about. Okay. So we've got at least one cocktail. That's all that matters. It's the birthday... What was it called? The birthday Bur drink. No. Birthday no, Burbank birthday, special. Berkshire. Berkshire, there we go. Birthday are. Berkshire mule. Birthday Berkshire special. special. Wait, I'm writing it. I'm almost finished writing yeah. it up. That's right. Okay. The birthday Berkshire special. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Super stoked. Uh, All the ingredients let's... has to say Bessie's milk. Bessie's With... cream milk. Whipped yeah. cream. Okay. <laughs> So we, uh, Congress Hammer Bench is building a mechanical bowl and some moving pins. Um, we've got the the booze, the the moonshine, and the special cocktails. We have flowers. Uh, we still need to make a cake. We haven't forgotten <laughs> about the cake. Um, this and changes this... things. Ice cream inside of a mule. We I said need... whipped cream uh, or uh, whipped cream or ice cream. <laughs> if you want to try I it, I like ice cream and beer. That might be interesting. Just saying. Uh, we still need balloons and sign, uh, a sign and decorations, and we mm. need torches, and, and I think that's it. So how are we doing? And uh, bowling jackets. Right, and bowling jackets. That's the other thing. <laughs> So we haven't that's seen normal for birthday parties. Yeah, <laughs> ice cream uh, let's, element. <laughs> let's head back to Dash Stargazer, and you can sort out these uh, the bowling jackets for us. Tell All me right. about it. So, if I'm remembering correctly, they had to be leather. Yes. They had to have tassels. Sparkly sequined tassels with long dangly bits in the nipples. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that little thing you do every time someone mentions tassels. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there need to be rhinestones with the oh, names. Oh yeah, they did the mention people. rhinestones. Yeah, rhinestones on the back. Oh, is there team name written in rhinestones? It could That's be. That's what I was thinking about with the team. Yes. Name. I don't know. You got to come up with a team name. They didn't ask for one explicitly. I, I, the best I have so far is nobody's perfect, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's just like, no, no. <laughs> the whole time, like everyone else is just like, yeah. And he's just like, no. <laughs> no, it's not going home. Um, all right. So what are you doing here? Uh, Dash Stargazer, it's all on you. All uh, right. Gnomes are up my alley. That's the name. Gnomes are up my alley. Oh, because it's bowling, bowling alley. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. All right, Lucas. It's up to us. Without these jackets, the entire team, the entire revision of the sport of gnome bowling will come crashing down. We've only got one shot at this, Lucas. We've got to make it count. Oof. Bark, bark. <laughs> Quick, to the leather worker. You're Oof. off to the leather worker. Uh, there he is. He's a, a tanner. Oh, we, we run. You run fast as the wind. You find the leather worker standing before some stretched out hides on a, a little tarp. Um, scratching his head and watching them dry in the sun. All right, I'll run up and shove the the um, the drying frame over and say, there's no time for that. We have a leather working emergency. My God, what is it? We need four gnome sized leather bowling jackets. <laughs> there must be tassels 
and and rhinestones and Ruff. sparkly things. Ruff. Mm-hmm. It's a matter of life and death. Ruff. The leather worker stands there blinking a few times at you until she finally says, okay, rhinestones, check. Have those on hand. Uh, tassels, check. Have those on hand. Had to make a weird outfit last week for this guy. <laughs> Tassels everywhere. Um, uh, leather, check. Mm -hmm. Flip uh, sequins are the only thing we're missing. I'm gonna need you to get me some sequins. We'll get them or die trying. That's you what I like to hear. Just an eye. How many? How many jackets do you need? What do you need them to say in rhinestone? We need four jackets, and. Unless chat's got anything better, they should say gnome bodies perfect to to emphasize that gnome bodies are not bowling pins. Right. And they're perfect just the way they are. Hashtag gnome, non gnomes lives matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag no body shaming. Yeah. Yes, gnome body shaming. Gnome <laughs> <No. laughs> body shaming. Gnome body shaming. Okay. She is going to set about making you four jackets with gnome bodies perfect written across the back of them. Tassels everywhere, but you're going to need to bring the sequence for the tassels. And uh, now let's flip over to Johnny Vegas and oh, yeah. Borscht Thunderbowls. Yeah. As they go to bake the cake or get the eggs to bake the cake. Um, so you head to Luna Acres High Security Farm. Uh, and sure enough, it is a high security farm. There is uh, there are fences with like large, um, what do you call them? Like uh, lighthouse lights that they like aim towards things along the the edges to make sure that you know no one's sneaking in or sneaking out there are minotaurs walking around all over the place with big weapons over their shoulders uh it's definitely a high security area all right so borsh we gotta look like we belong i think we need to dress up like chickens all right. he says and uh excellent we're going to need some chicken feathers. We need to break right. into the farm to get some chicken feathers so that we can break in and get some eggs. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. So well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the lights. When the lights turn that way, I'm just going to charge in. All right. And then I'm going to come back out with a handful of chickens and feathers and we'll put them all over ourselves. And then we can get in no problem. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. All right. Just you wait for the light to go. I'll, I'll tell you when. All right, all right. Whew. I get in like a three-point stance, and I'm ready. Go, go, go! Ah! And I run, and I leap over the fence. Give me a strength go check. Chickens. Give me a strength check to leap the fence. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Your tiny legs do it. It's yeah. maybe more of like a, a handstand pump, actually, because your upper body is so better. I can't jump with my legs. They're too tiny. So I, I run up and I do exactly what you say. I like bench press myself over the fence. <laughs> you bench press yourself all the way over the fence onto the other side right. and uh, into the chicken and coop. And I'm beelining it for the chicken coop, man. It's right there. It's like, you yeah. know, 100 feet away. You get to the chicken coop, throw open the doors. The chickens go Barrr! and look I up. I just start grabbing chickens uh, and I like rub fucking... them all over myself. So I get there... the the chickens me. are trying to run. There's feathers everywhere. You hear some dogs barking in the distance because the chickens are making a whole bunch of noise. And then what? Well, how close are the dogs? Like, are they right outside? Am I going to have to fool a dog? Uh, I mean, they're barking from a distance away. You don't know if they're being, they've been let loose yet. All right. I grab some more chickens so that I can rub them all over Borscht. And I'll begin clucking my way out of the out of the door. <laughs> How many chickens like are you carrying with you? And, <laughs> and I just start walking out. Okay, you make it out. You uh, walk back to the the fence when one of those big lighthouse spotlights starts to, like pan towards you, and you know it's gonna hit you. I start pecking the ground. 
<laughs> I mean, he has the chicken mix. <laughs> Give me a charisma check, Johnny Vegas. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens if you offer magic items. Just it, everything goes crazy. <laughs> oh. Uh, you you start pecking the ground, and all of a sudden you hear the of like a hand crank siren starting to go off. Uh, a hand crank siren? Here, man. Does it sound like a big cow? Fancy. Do <laughs> uh, you see Bor? She comes, runs over to the other side of the the chain link fence, um, and you know reaches over the top to grab some chickens from you. I, I get her hand in the chickens and I run back. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna grab as many eggs as I can. All right, so Borsh is like plucking feathers and sticking them in his hair and his clothes. Um, you run back to the chicken coop when you see two dogs barreling towards you at full speed. Am I speed. in the chicken coop when I see the dogs? Uh, you're, you're in between the, you're on your way to the chicken coop, not quite there. The dogs are coming towards you. Um, can I beat the dogs into the chicken coop? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I beat the dogs in the chicken coop. I now look like a chicken in Johnny's mind. And totally. I pop a squat where I pick the chickens up on, like I'm laying on eggs. All right. In, in Johnny's mind is the best description of this whole scene. It's amazing. I just love that you're like, I'm back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he has the leg foot. <laughs> no, it's, pretty, it's what I would do. It's hilarious. All right. <laughs> Uh, the dogs bust in the chicken coop, but it's dark. So they got to use their sense of smell to find what's going on here. But Johnny's covered in chicken. Covered in chicken. So I want you to make me a second charisma check. For, right. But this one is the opposite. You want to fail. Otherwise, that like Johnny smell is going to be easily picked up. I see. So, I see. I'm looking for under a 21. Yeah, under a 21. Fail me a crew. <laughs> oh, God. They they catch your Not scent. Not my hair gel, man. It just shines through. That's it. Uh, <laughs> the dogs find you, Johnny. They kind of like walk past you, sniff, walk back, and then turn and leap on you, uh, going to attack you. <laughs> Both dogs roll a 14 to hit. What's your AC? Uh, did I put armor on before I came? I have no idea. <laughs> I think this was a, was a... Oh my god, you ask him, did I put my armor on? I think on? this was a clandestine mission. I think that uh, Johnny knew that he didn't have to show off his his uh, amazing pack, <laughs> um, which gives him an AC of 15. Oh, well then, they completely miss. Uh, two 14s will bite all over, but you, you know, you've got right. pecs, you kind of deflect them, you, I don't <laughs> know how exactly, it is. I, just, I make them pop off me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one buff chicken. All right, and it's going to be initiative time. Borsh is coming over the fence, running towards you, but the dogs, uh, but he, he won't be here this round. It's you and two dogs. Go. Okay. Uh... I go on three, I guess. You go before they do. Appropriate for Johnny to yell, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's the he's a PG character, all right. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe he's Y seven. Popcorn Leghorn. I say, I say, I say, I say. I'm gonna teach you dogs a lesson. And uh, he is a proficient pummeler, um, and just goes to town on one of these dogs. All right. Roll to hit against a dog. They don't have particularly high AC. Shenanigans. We murder dogs. Swing with both hands, so I actually have a bit of a bonus. There's my primary hand. Oh, wild miss. You hit a chicken. And my offhand. <laughs> Your offhand hits a different chicken. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Flying everywhere. <laughs> Just the feathers in the air now. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the dogs rolls a four, getting distracted by your fist and going after the chicken you hit. It just picks the chicken up and starts like thrashing it around back and forth, while the other dog rolls a 15 and uh, bites you on the peck for two oh, damage. That's my money maker. You can't do that. It starts leaking because it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> the silicon implants just start to like slip out. Oh no. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, Borsh shows up and comes around, 
grabs one of the dogs by the hindquarters and just like hurls it out of the chicken coop, sending it like <laughs> helicoptering around out into the somewhere. Uh, there's one dog left and we need to roll initiative for you and the dog and Borscht. Uh, the dog goes at five, Borscht goes at 10, Johnny Vegas goes at three again. All right. Uh, yeah, this time we're gonna make sure that we that we hit this sucker. There's my primary oh, hand. Oh, yeah, you hit him. And my offhand. <laughs> uh, well, the primary awesome. crits. Oh. The primary clears by five and it's a natural 18, so double okay, damage. so we get three points of damage. You knock the dog out, just right to the dog's <laughs> face. It rolls to the side and is unconscious. Um, however, right. that, that hand cranked horn is. All right, Borsh, like, we gotta we gotta make sure our chicken disguises are perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get as many of these feathers as we can. With the plan. All right. Uh, Boar starts just taking chickens and like shoving them in your clothes and stripping yep. their feathers and just like putting them through your shirt and everything. Same. Same, same, same to him. We are gonna look like chickens by the time anyone finds us, and then we're just gonna have like the biggest nest of eggs. Okay. Who needs a plan B, right? <laughs> just like keep having <laughs> the first Just plan. improvise. All yeah. right. Uh, a few moments this later. This is plan B. Plan A is they get that giant ass egg from who knows where. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the giant bird. Uh, yeah. Spoilers, that adventuring party isn't going to make it. They're definitely dead. Uh, we've already sent okay. two also, player characters to go kill that rock and get its egg back for a giant cake, and neither of them survived. Um, also, so the NPCs definitely aren't going to make it. Even if they would succeed, they would arrive too late for the party anyway. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Just to be clear, one of the parties died. The other party just Ran away like little it. bitches. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We ran out of time, Neil. Yeah. Honestly, ran, ran we away killed by the rock. Like little bitches. Uh, okay, so uh, the guard that, you know, works with the, the dogs comes by the chicken coop a few moments later uh, after you guys have stuffed yourself with feathers, um, looks in, immediately sees the unconscious dog uh, lying there on the ground. You know, blood in its mouth. There's a dead chicken in its mouth. Puts his hands on his hips and goes, God damn it, Greta, what have you gotten yourself into? Um, and takes a, a casual look in the chicken coop to see who all's here. Give me your disguise check one more time, Greg. Okay. Does he want uh, high or low? You want high this time. You want to look like a chicken. Oh, oh no! I, oh, you're so, so think, close. So I think that um, I take a page out of uh, the playbook here, and as he looks at me and shines a flashlight, I say, "Well, there ain't nobody here but us chickens, man." <laughs> uh, he will make an intelligence check. Um, <laughs> Not and uh, heads back out, dragging the dog by the collar, saying, Greta, you gotta stop getting into them chickens. It's not good for you. I have a feeling someone is getting fired tomorrow. Oh my uh, god, I've always wanted to make like an orc rogue, and I'm just like, you don't see me. Uh, <laughs> That's like one of those weird moments where I'm like, nobody but here but us chickens. <laughs> A few minutes later, uh, the coast is clear. It's just you and Borsch inside the high security farms. The hand crank siren is uh, has been turned off. The dogs are gone. How did this plan work, Greg? <laughs> How? <laughs> Sheer chaos. It's like the best thing ever. We need fan art of this. This is the so funny. <laughs> but like a grown man dressed in like, just <laughs> nobody even put a stick in a bunch of chicken, chicken legs. <laughs> I look at Borsh, I'll say, I told you, man, my plans are genius. All right, let's get as many eggs as we can and get out of here. And natural. I'm dying. All right. Uh, you guys start gathering up chicken eggs, left, right, and center. I mean, there's like rows and rows and rows of uh, what, coops next to one another. So you can go and raid all the coops. You can even just like come behind them and pull out the drawers and grab the eggs that the chickens laid just today, just tonight even. Oh, fresh eggs. Um, how many eggs do you guys need? You tell me. Okay, so we need the biggest cake ever made. 
And Johnny, as a profesh, as a professional, as a proficient cook, knows that a normal sized cake needs at least twenty five eggs. So we need. <laughs> Can Johnny even eggs. count to like a thousand? <laughs> so I think what he does is he finds like one of those big metal like containers that you put milk in to let it pasteurize. Mm -hmm. And he pours it out and they mm. fill it up with eggs. All right, so one of those big metal containers just like yeah. stuffed with eggs. Okay. We just fill it and then we take that with us. And All between right. Borsh the, the orc and uh, Johnny the top heavy muscle man, I think they can handle it. Question, I think you guys are can... you cracking these eggs and putting them in there, or are you just putting the full egg and just dropping full it in there? Just full <laughs> eggs. Oh god! <laughs> like a bunch of broken eggs inside this jar. <laughs> well, you need to break them eventually. It doesn't matter if you break them now or tomorrow or in three days, right? I guess we can strain them. You can't rob know. a dairy farm without breaking a few eggs. <laughs> 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 We're making the healthiest cake. We're gonna strain it for all of the shells and the yolk. Yeah. Just... That's a joke. All right, you guys get back to the fence. You can climb over with each other's aid. Uh, get the hell out of here and back towards shenanigans. We're gonna go to our second break. And uh, when we come back from our second break, we're gonna check in with the rest of the party and hopefully get the the, the birthday party planned so that in our final hour, we can enjoy the party. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see you on the other side of our break. Bye-bye. <laughs> 